Hey guys, welcome back to Build. So today I have another plot size series tutorial for you guys and this is how to build a 6x6 modern house. Now this is actually a really cool little house because as we all know, 6x6 blocks is such a small dimension. I mean if you think about what you can do with 10x10 compared to 6x6 is it's dramatically smaller. I mean there's very limited things that you can do think you've really got one room per floor uh, so I came up with a simple design that is yet functional for you people in survival and still looks pretty cool so if we walk around the side I'll give you guys a quick tour of it first uh, you will notice there's a little chair here underneath the chair I've actually just disguised a crafting table so you can still craft all your items uh, I've got a furnace here if you want to cook food some chests here for storing things and of course an anvil here for fixing things so it's all functional moving up onto the second floor of course we've got a real bed we just got a little azure bullet and a torch to keep them bats away and just to light up the place so for when you're at night and you want to look across your little area you want to see if there's any creepers there uh, you can make sure that you can do that not to mention at the top here i did add another little modern feature which was just a solar panel uh, just to you know just give it a little bit more detail We've got windows basically on all sides of the house to let in a lot of light. This house is going to have no issues at daytime at staying light inside at all. And it's pretty elegant. I like the look of it. I think it turned out really well. So guys, to start off this build, you're going to want to place one block down. And then you're going to want to come across by one more. Three, four, five, six. And then make a, like a six by six square. So three, four, five, six. As you can see. like that and you're going to want to fill in this area with all snow snow as we all know is a very easy just quick material that you can find just laying about now what you're going to want to do now is on the third block in leave a little gap here this is going to be as you can see over there that window you're going to want to bring this up one two three four on the fourth block here Bring it across and you're going to want to make another 6x6 six six square starting from this corner and of course finishing in the diagonal corner like that but remember to leave this block out and this is going to be your first roof for the first floor. Now we're going to leave it open like that just for now and continue up here so come up by one, two, three, four. you're going to want to come across again. And make sure this is a 6x6 square, so it should be parallel with the very first floor base that we made. This is a very easy house to build, guys. Very quick and efficient. There we go. So it should be looking something like that, hopefully. Now what you're going to want to do is bring this side up all the way. Bam, that side is pretty much done. We're just going to want to go ahead, get some glass, get some buttons. Then I'll pick up the glass. There we go. Now I've just put the glass across here just to let in a nice amount of side lighting to the place. The buttons are really just as like a little touch of detail because the side did look very plain. I mean it's a very simple build just to spice it up that little bit. Just put a couple of buttons down. Now to get a daylight sensor this is just like a little modern attention to detail touch doesn't really do anything just you know an aesthetic look. There you go so just place it across like that. So now what you can do is you can go ahead and I wouldn't recommend using bedrock. I've just used it here because it looks a little bit cooler. But if you are on survival, I would definitely recommend using black wool. It practically looks as cool as the Flows HD bedrock. If you're in survival, it won't matter at all because bedrock looks ugly as hell, right? Uh, so that's not going to matter at all. Just going to bring it up by two, as you can see. And then this side for an hour by one and you're just going to want to leave a little gap in the side there just here so it should be looking something like that as you can see a little bit different to the other model but doesn't really matter i'm just coming up with a newer concept design i'm going to come across here now by another two we're going to actually keep this one in line try a little bit different and for the front, you can use black stained glass panes. An easier option would be the normal glass panes. But just for this model, because I really do think if you can spend the time to just get these panes, it is definitely worth it. 
for the look. We're just going to get some of these out. Now, pains will be a pain to place, but if we get this done, it's going to be one step closer to having this house complete. And you're going to want to do that on both sides. Bam, bam, bam. Come on, rain, not now. Sort this rain situation out and may as well change the time while you're at this guys if you are in creative it just gets dark so much i swear on this mod so actually what we're going to do is we're going to bring this back by one and we're going to do the same on this side and the reason for that is because there's actually going to be oak stairs here now you're going to want to start your stairs right about here so literally you walk in from the entrance and you instantly hit the stairs now you're going to want to place one on the back. I'm going to see why in a second. And that is just really to create this cool effect. But then I did remember actually guys. My little mistake here. What I did is I replaced this with an oak block. And I actually came up with something that was very cool. I replaced that like that. I replaced that like that. And what I did is I put a cheeky furnace here. And all that's going to allow us to do is simply just cook our food if we need to. Uh... I'm gonna get a fence the great thing is fences join up to this and it looks really cool and then we can just get a pressure plate the wooden one i think goes best just because it matches everything and just as a little look here not functional in any way but just looks cool i just put a little oak stair there now underneath what you're going to want to do is just put a uh, what is it called again i'm going to forget this Ah, oh, this is called a crafting table. Almost forgot that there. But you're going to need a crafting table. If you're in survival, is an essential material block to have because, you know, you've got to be crafting away. You're going to need that. Now, for this side, guys, what I recommend that you do is you just go ahead and you get some chests out. Hopefully the normal chests. And what you can do is you can put two here. And you can just put an anvil on the bottom. Now the anvil is to fix all your weapons when you're in battle. Or you're fighting them zombies and creepers outside. You're going to need to keep your weapons up to date. So what we're going to do here. Is we're going to bring that back like so. I'm going to bring this all the way to here. Unfortunately you're going to have to jump up to get to this block. Which is a little bit of a pain. But you know what is such a compact house. We do have to make a few compromises. Uh, we're going to get a bed here. Just place it like that very simple now i just put a torch here just so you can see you know your surrounding area if it's at night time and you got to check if creepers are around and stuff you're going to be able to see around you because it gets so dark in minecraft especially if you're on shaders mod and then just as a little touch of detail once again i'm just going to get a flower pot i'm just going to place it here i'm going to put an azure bullet in it i just think it's a nice little touch just gives the build a little bit more detail because it is so small it does lack that in areas so guys anyways that has been my 6x6 house tutorial if you've enjoyed the video be sure to smack that like button and go subscribe if you want to see more plot size tutorials thank you all so much for watching drop a comment down below what do you think of this small little awesome build and hopefully guys i'll catch you in my next video see you guys later